We all get a box, that's where we go. It's stifling, but at least you know. So, where do you belong? Oh, hey, y'all. What's up y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is BJ Granville and today we are going to be reviewing Mean Girls, the new one with Miss Renee Rapp. I'm, I might as well go ahead and say, y'all, this is the Renee Rapp musical. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna have to talk about it and we'll, and we'll get into it. But yes, um, thank y'all so much for tuning in and I'm super, super happy that I got to go ahead and go and see this movie. So without further ado, let's go see the movie. What's up y'all, it is a late night vlog today. A late night vlog, look, today, tonight. Um, and so, I'm finishing getting dressed. I ain't got no jeans on yet, but we got some shorts. We're going to change the shorts because it's cold outside. But yeah, and then I have to decide. I don't know if I want to wear uh, these boots or these boots. Because I wore these boots to go see Color Purple. Right? Yeah, but I think I wore these boots to go see Wonka. I don't know, y'all. But we're going to figure it out. Boom, I finished getting dressed. Then we're going to do a quick OOTD. Ah, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Hey. All right, y'all. So we decided on. Uh, oh, Jesus, fix it. The Doc Martens, these, the big ones, because they have you. But bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. All right. Oh, OTD. We got. We got. This girl, this, blessed Jesus, I swear y'all, I'm sober. This is Magado. Uh, she's an elephant. Um, this is a red one I got from Route 21. Also from Route 21, it's a little king, a little crown. It's not focusing. Focus. There we go, a crown. This, I got this from Lola. Um, I also went to go see the little Monka movie with Lola. Anyway, this one's my bracelet. Focus, we'll try. There we go, perfect. Okay. That's out of the way. Flannel, um, I got it from um, 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 Forever 21, question mark, I think. Um, this is my Bring It On shirt, y'all, I love Bring It On. If you want a video about Bring It On, we could do a story time about Bring It On. Woo! We could do a story time about Bring It On, and I could bring Mariah back, and we could, and we could really talk about it. Anyway, um, these jeans are coming from um, Navy Exchange because my parents are veterans. Thank you, veterans. Um, and then I got these boots for Christmas, Amazon, but the Doc Martens. Perfect. All right, y'all, let's go see this movie. <laughs> we're, oh, pfft. I didn't even say what movie we're going to see. You know what? I'll let y'all, I'll let y'all figure it out. Share our work with you. So sit back, relax, and let's take a trip back to North Shore High School. Tina Fey, I love you. It's the Renee rap music. Oh my god, it's the Renee rap, rap music. But like, you can't put her against the empty girlies. No, they're so cute. <laughs> Miss oh Renee god. rap. Do you want to get in here? Miss oh, girl, Renee look rap. at her. She's beautiful. That's my girl. She's beautiful. Y'all, it was so much fun going to see going to see Mean Girls with MC and Angela. Like, they're they're, they're some of my besties. I really enjoyed them. I, ironically enough, I worked on bringing on with them back in 2023 during the summer, and. I think that we're gonna talk more about bringing it on later for a certain reason, but yes, they're my they're, they're my girlies. They're they're so cool. Okay, next thing. Um, 
This is a great movie. I really enjoyed it. I, I would go see it again at the end of the day. I would go see it again. I should start doing ratings at the end of these. Noted. But, yes, I would go see it again. So let's go ahead and hop right into the cast. Ciao, I done already called it the Renee Rap musical. Let's talk about Renee Rap. Renee Rap played Regina George. I was like, I, 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 like, when I tell you, I forgot she was in this. Like, when we went to go see it, I was like, yeah, we know, blah, blah, but I, I wasn't thinking about the cast. I was not thinking about the cast, y'all. I walked in there, and they got into the lunch room, and then it cut to her, like, the lower half of her face. So it was like, my name is Regina George. But backtrack, backtrack before that. Y'all, I was, we, it cut to her face, and it was the lower half of her face, and I was like, oh. I forgot she was in this. And then I was like, what's your name? What's your name? And then she said, my name. And I lost it. I lost it, y'all. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lord Jesus. Y'all. I mean, but I, I've also, I've also, I've heard other opinions about Renee Rapp in this role. And this is the one I kind of agree with. They made Regina George Renee rap a fight. A little bit and it's like yes but it worked but it's also like you kind of have to it, mean girls it's an old it's not old but it came out before now you know what i mean so they had to bring it to 2023 and they very much did that like they had her in all black instead of all white and i feel like that's more edgy nowadays you know what i mean so like we see the moments but renee rap let's talk about her she, girl can sing we we know that we know she can sing we can we she can sing there's a difference we know the difference on my channel she can sing she can sing so good. Um, I feel like so much of the, the things that she did, like, we know she came from the Jimmys. We know she's an empty person. You know what I mean? Like, that's, like, her feel. But, like, moments where she pulled that... I'm not going to spoil the movie, y'all. But she at one point, she's running on a treadmill, and she pulls the thing that makes it stop. And I was in one of those theaters where it goes, boom! And you feel it. And I was like, oh, Lord, she about to strike back. She's about to strike back. Not to mention, this is a remake, so it's like, most people probably already know the story. The difference with Wonka was that Wonka's a new movie, so it's like, it's not, it's not the same. But yeah, so, she, y'all, everything she did had, had, um, like, you had to take it in. Because she was just so, she, she was like the legendary character of this musical. She's the one sitting behind, standing next to the poster. You know what I mean? Like, she, like, she is the Virginia George. Not to mention, I was saying that earlier about Bring It On, because Taylor Louderman, who played Campbell in Bring It On, who was played by MC when we did the show, um, played Regina George in the original. So it's like, you kind of get to see this nice, sweet little girl, or girl that's the victim on everything. And then she, now, now Taylor Louderman had to play that edgy, like, what? You know? So I feel like that also added to the whole aspect of, like, seeing the role play different ways. On top of that, the fact that she is just Renee Rapp. She has you have to try. Excuse me. But she doesn't even have to try. Like, she just gets up and it's just like, it's just like a music video. Like, hello. But yeah. That's Renee Rapp. Moving on, Ali Cravajo. She played Moana, so we know we know of her. We know of her. We know she can sing. We can know she can sing. You know what I mean? Um, and I just think I, she is an interesting take on Janice. And typically, Janice is wearing mo mostly black fishnets, etc. I feel like she was more of a laid back Janet, which is all this Janice with all this anger. And I feel like it played very well for the screen. You know what I mean? It's different when you have to play it up for the um, for for a stage. But on screen, I feel like Ollie. She just really ate, especially with the no, it's fine, really fine go be fun like stuff like that i was like oh period like like it doesn't get much better than this because she really ate down every single moment like i feel like it wasn't too much now we gotta now i love her we gotta get into my boy my boy jaquel spivey i love jaquel y'all and at first i was a little shady to jaquel because i like larry owens and jaquel ended up being the usher on broadway for a strange loop but i was like okay Jaquel can still eat down. So when I saw him in some of these runs, y'all, getting hit by a bus, that was like the first thing when I was like, whoo, Jaquel, you better sing. You better sing. And then um, and then hearing um, some of his other riffs and runs because they cut Where Do You Belong. They cut Stop. So I was like, when am I going to hear Jaquel? You know what I mean? But I heard it. I heard him a lot on, it's a revenge party. We're going to get into some music later. But I just got to see so much more of him. And he, he a, a, a different take on um, Damien. Because you know the whole gag is he's too gay to function. And it's like okay we get it but like who else is he you know what i mean other than them other than janice and damien being gay like who are they you know and i like i like that i got to see more of that from them too like we got to see more personality and we'll talk about the story later and in, in direction etc because then we'll get more into that but yes moving on um i also want to touch on our gretchen 
and our Karen. Uh, their names are Aventika Vendanapu. And she, y'all, I have never seen a blanker expression on anyone's face in a movie. I mean, it was just like... But it, there's a way she did it. Like, it wasn't just, I'm dumb. Like, it, like you can very well tell that there are things going on, like that subtext. And I feel like that's a smart way to play a character like that. Because people are always like, oh, I don't, I don't, I'm playing a dumb character. I don't have to think. No, honey, you have to do the work, too. And it's very clear that she did the work. And it's very clear that she shined. Now, also, B.B. Wood, I love her. And she was a perfect Gretchen, honestly, in my opinion. Like, I feel like it almost, like, looks like she should be playing... She should be playing Karen. But I like the little switch moment. It's almost like that London Tipton and, and, and what is it? what's her name, Maddie Fitzgerald on Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Like we get that switch of like who's who's typically playing the roles. You know what I mean? And I feel like it, I love B.B. Wood in Love Victor. I love her and other stuff too. So it was just so good to see her and I love how she did. Period. Tina Fey did her part. I, I liked Tina Fey in this movie. Uh, I'm not a big Tina Fey fan, but I just like I liked how she played uh, she played Miss Norberry. So yeah, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, Norberry. Yeah, perfect. Okay, but yeah. Um, so that's the cast of the new Mean Girls movie, and yeah, let's move on to the story. <laughs> all right, y'all. So let's get into the story. I feel like Mean Girls altogether. It's it's already gonna give you that kooky high school feel. But the way they redid it, it's so 2023 that it's like, oh, that was last year. Like, for those of us that graduate, look, graduated 23, that was last year. Like, we saw we saw the kooky TikTok dances. We saw, you said, we'll get, once again, we'll get into more of that later. But we, it really very much felt like they twisted the story just to hair, just to fit the time. And I feel like it's very smart when people do stuff like that, but also stay true to the original. But when you execute it, execute it that w executed a great way you know you it's very obvious that you know your stuff you know what i mean i also feel that this story does not feel overdone like it felt very new and we know we've seen mean girls regular we've seen we've seen the movie without musical without the music then we've seen the musical then we see like different tours and we see different high school productions now they don't release the rights thank you, jesus and now it's like okay now we're gonna see mean girls again how are they gonna how are they gonna make it feel new how are they gonna make it feel good and the story being the same but still be but being catered to a different audience i think that was their best bet and they really did it and they brought out some of the stars and they really let us know what was what with this story and how they transformed it so yeah um when you think about the whole idea um that regina george she's like the queen bee and then you have people that are outsiders like janice and damien and you have the new girl caddy katie it's like you you kind of have to like see how the, how that's gonna work but it's like i feel like also within the characters the way they pro excuse you the way they portrayed these roles it was very it was very much done well and i feel like it helped the story become more evident to people of today instead of just mean girls we knew back then because like i said on the poster y'all still can't sit with us <laughs> but yeah that's the story that's my opinion on the story so let's talk about the music my first grievance y'all i live for where do you belong and um, I'm not going to be like, this is a race thing. But how are you going to cast the black boy as Damien and then not let him sing any of the Damien songs? Ugh. Like, come on now. I was very upset with that. I was very upset with that. Because I wanted to see Jaquel Spivey do it. You know what I mean? Because he can. I know he can. So why didn't we let him do it? So we cut Where Do You Belong and we cut Stop. And I was like, okay, I'm sure they cut something else. But I, once again, this is my first interaction with Mean Girls. So I hadn't seen any type of Mean Girls other than like a few bootlegs every now and then. You know what I mean? And short parts of them. But yeah, so I just wish we got more of that music. But once again, it's a, it's a movie musical. You can't give us the two and a half hour show on top of the original story. It's going to be difficult. But don't cut out my boy song again. Please don't. Thank you. <laughs> Shut and let me stop. But yeah. Um, I think, but the music that was done, like, uh, what is it, they call it those three, the plastics, what is that, um, uh, Meet the Plastics was good, um, Stupid with Love, okay, uh, I feel like Katie was very much actor heavy, and I feel like that's how it should be built, because everybody else is kind of like a character that surrounds her that kind of adds these ideas in her head. I do wish that she gave me a little more, though. A little bit more dynamics, a little bit more uh, whatever, what have you. You know, like, uh, all these moments where she could have really, like, twisted, just twist the knife a little bit more. But all those moments where she could have, like, really got it to us, I was like, maybe they're, but maybe they're also directing her less. You know what I mean? Give, making, asking her to pull back a little bit. Um, I think What's Wrong With Me was really good. Sexy was really good. I loved it. The dance break was really good in that as well. Uh, someone gets hurt. I'm sorry, anything, anything Renee rap. Meet the Plastics, 
someone gets hurt, a uh, world burn. It's like it's gonna it's gonna be good. I can't I can't even help I can't even help but think but just know that they're gonna be amazing. Period. Yeah, music was great. Renee Rapp can sing. Jaquel can sing. Uh, BB BB can sing. Can sing. Uh, Ali can sing. You know, we have those moments where it's like, oh my gosh, these people are doing great. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Music was great. Um, I think underscoring was good as well. I, I didn't, it didn't grab my attention as much, but I do think that they still had an underlined, like, score that kind of gave us the feel for what, like, like I said, when Regina pulled the plug on the, um, pulled the stop on the treadmill, it was almost like a boom, you know what I mean? So that goes into the music and the underscoring. So yeah, I think the music was executed pretty pretty well as well. Uh, I, I do wish, once again, that we had a little bit more songs that reveal that personality of some of our characters because some of them just did kind of feel a little um, separated from the original, you know what I mean? As original as in the musical. So I think it, that losing some of the songs dialed back the story of individual characters, if that kind of feeds into our story and cast section, but yeah. Okay, Tish, you don't look. And it's here for me. Okay. But yes, tying back into the story and the cast aspects, I do feel like the music complemented the, mu the movie musical really well. And I wanted more of it. Simply put. So last but definitely not least, let's talk about this spectacle, y'all. Let's talk about what made it pop, what made it scream, like, oh my gosh. Um... I'm about to spoil something, y'all. Regina gets hit by a bus. What? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Um, she gets hit by a bus. That moment was staged perfectly. Because, you know, we're in the middle of, of Janice's song. And, Re and, the, and, Re and Regina, is it Regina arguing with Janice? Somebody's arguing with Janice. No, somebody's arguing with Regina. I can't remember what exactly. Yeah, I think they are arguing. Something like that. But um, we see these moments where it's like, okay, and then it adds up and then she hits. And it's like, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, I think stuff like that stays perfectly. When I think about the burn book, like stuff like that, the way she like drops in the middle of the stage and it's almost like boom, or in the middle of the floor in the school. And it's like, wow. You know? Like we see these moments and it's like, hmm, interesting. But I feel like they really set them up to really leave a lasting effect on the audience because it'd be one thing if it was like, oh, okay, that happened. But no, they made they blew it up big. They blew it up big. Like even when we see things like a, a vase gets smashed at some point and it's like boom and it's like why like it's almost like why do I why do I feel attached to that? You know what I mean? Like why why why? You know, I don't know. But it just gives that vibe of like, oh, Okay, I see what happened there. You know, and then when we think about World Burn, where like Regina pulls the plug and we feel the brrrr, it's like you, they wanted that to mean something. So they had to give it that extra umph, like boom, like oh, all heck's about to break loose. For real, for real. So yeah, um, that's the spectacle. It was super short for this video because I feel like this movie musical, because it's a high school, you can't really do too much with the spectacle, you know? But I still feel like those moments hit hard, for real. Um, and at the end of the day, that was my Mean Girls review. Uh, I wanted to keep it short for this one because I don't want to keep y'all watching these videos all night long. You know what I mean? Spend some time with your family and do whatever else. But yes, that was Mean Girls in my eyes. And I'm super excited to have done this review for y'all. Um, and also, this was my first, like, hey, you should do this video. And look, look at the comment. Boom. So, like, y'all, send me a comment for what y'all want to see and I'll do it. If I like it. I'm gonna be real. I'm not gonna do it if I don't wanna do it. <laughs> but yes, send me stuff that y'all want me to do. I, I really enjoyed doing this video simply because it's something that I can do for y'all. So yes, thank y'all so much for watching this video. And I'm gonna leave y'all with the quote. Every great thing in this world began with a dream. So go after your dreams for those that are after you. And I'll catch y'all later. Cue the music. <laughs>